the Bruiserweight. Introducing first, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. First on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British strong style. But he's now moved off on his own and to become one of the great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunne does. As intense and as dangerous as they come. He done enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunne, but he will demand that you remember his name. I like this kid. Bright, bright future for this young man. And his partner from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bay. First ever WWE United Kingdom Champion, former NXT Tag Team Champion. There's no questioning the incredible in-ring ability though of Tyler Bate. I mean, he's gained worldwide experience and he's turned a lot of heads all throughout the WWE Universe. Got a very unique style in the ring. Mixture of Japanese strong style, British catch wrestling with his own very unique gentlemanly flair. Some superstars you just look at and you just feel like they're, they're destined for big things. And you gotta feel that way when you see a guy like Tyler Bate. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. And his partner from San Antonio, Texas, Weighing in at 240 pounds, Wesley Blake. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. You can bet that Pete Dunne is going to look to utilize his classic English mastery of submission holds and attacking an opponent's limbs. Dunne is also notorious for pushing the limits of WWE's rulebook. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, oh, fellas. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well-being. Forget about winning or losing the match. Yeah, and Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named Saxton. When a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. Oh, what a backbreaker. Man, just an ugly impact. Boom, slam! With authority. 
You gotta believe this one's over. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Oh, right to the back. What a stomp. Good grief. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think that's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Pete Dunne is all about the intimidation. He's a man of few words, but actions like holding that United Kingdom championship in his teeth as he glares at his competition down the ramp sends a message to his opposition. Yeah, that message is, you're about to become the recipient of a pummeling courtesy of the Bruiser Week. Harsh impact. Tagged in. Bringing back up Pete Dunne's penchant for intimidation, I'm fine with sending a message during his entrance. But his attacks before and after the bell rings just cross the line. I disagree, Saxton. While most of Dunn's United Kingdom Championship Tournament's opposition were excited for the opportunity and happy to be in front of an English crowd, the Bruiserweight showed everyone he wanted it more. Look at Tyler Bate! Oh, nasty impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants it one more time. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Oh, man, what a strike! Let's stress further what Michael was saying about Tyler Bates' age. When most 19-year-olds were busy trading barbs with each other on social media, Bate was wowing a global audience in the inaugural United Kingdom Championship Tournament. And since that time, Bate has only gotten better. And it's scary to think of how good this guy is going to be five or ten years from now.
Dodges a bullet there. Oh, going to the top. High risk. He might have it. Tremendous impact. Here's his chance to win this. Oh, and the ref gets taken out. What's he made of? Paper mache? Ooh, what impact. Tagged in. This is it. Oh boy, he is rolling. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Boom, what impact! In off the tag. Boom! Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Leg breaker. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Xplex, man. Can he finish the job? Not so fast. Boom. Oh, KO punch. He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. Now he's got to capitalize. Oh, and it's a reversal. <laughs> oh, what a form. In off the tag. Harsh impact. And there's his speed paying off. taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Counter here. Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. out there. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. Things have really gone from bad to work. Here's the cover. It's too close for cover. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh no, this isn't going to end well. Attacking the knee. You gotta believe this one's over. Uh, setting him up in position here on the second team. Elbow drop, big time. He's going for it all. Looks like we might just see. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, and he dodges out of the way. Beautiful technique. And Tyler Bate is really taking a pounding. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. I can't say I expect... He's cheating, Rep! He's cheating! Stop being such a tattletale, Cole. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Wow. Oh, boy, he is rolling. When this guy's on, look out. Setting up for it. Here it comes. Nailed it. That might have done it, Cole. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He looks for it once again. High impact. That has got to be it. Wow, what an impact. But was it enough to end? What an incredible tag team contest. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Check them out here.
Almost forgot about this one. Check this out. Here are your winners, Steve Culver and Wesley Blade. That was a big pinfall.